Be more Batman. Face your fears. Look good doing it. Arise, Dark Knight. Batman is one of the greatest superheroes of all time. And you know what's weird? He doesn't have a single power. Yep, he's just like you. All his heroism comes from inside. Superman may be faster than a speeding bullet, but even he respects Batman. Why? Because Batman has done it all himself. Trained, studied, built bat copters, and invented cool stuff like bat shark repellent. He is the ultimate hero because he made it all happen himself. And you know what's even weirder? You can do the same thing. It's all you, all in you. Read on and find out how, Batman fans. Become a hero. Today is harder than ever to be a hero. All the best names are already taken. And everyone expects you to make witty one-liners after you've defeated the villain. Not easy. But for people like you, the true Batman fan, there are no real obstacles to being like Batman. Because like the Dark Knight, you will never give up the fight, and it starts here. I made a promise on the graves of my parents that I would rid the city of evil that took their lives. Know your mission. If you want to be a legend like Batman, then you need to have a mission. And aim in life. If your aim is not is to eat more donuts and sit around reading comic books, well, that's fine. But don't expect to become a revered figure of mystery that way. To be like the Dark Knight, you need to choose an inspiring goal and then aim for what it is like a flying battering. I became a bat, a monster of the night. To change the world, change yourself. When Bruce Wayne set out to fight evil, he didn't fight it just an ordinary guy. He began by creating a striking new identity. He made the world a better place by first changing himself. You can do the same. Take a look at yourself. Could you work harder? Train tougher? Be bolder? There are many ways to improve. And you don't have to dress like a giant bat to impress people. Though, it is kind of fun. Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot. So my disguise must be able to strike terror in their hearts. Dress to impress. Batman knows to fight evil. You have to look the part. Villains will not be impressed if you turn up to battle wearing sweatpants. Batman even has special armors like his thrasher suit for handling extreme environments and home invaders. Like Batman, you need to look right. Dress like the person you want to be and you'll feel like you're halfway there. From this moment on, none of you are safe. Talk the talk. To be like Batman, you have to talk like Batman. Speak in short, punchy phrases like, It's over. Give it up. And you're finished. Then surprise everyone with a complex explanation. 
explanation of something that nobody else will understand. I knew he was a clown napper because all the infinite stimul particles of custard pie along with proximal nail fold of his left index finger. People love that stuff. Most of the things that everybody knows are wrong. Being mysterious never hurts. People love mysteries. Be mysterious and people will admire you. Appear out of nowhere. Vanish without saying goodbye. Never explain how you did that brilliant thing. Know things you couldn't possibly know. Say deep stuff like the truth is a lie. Don't apologize. Don't blabber. And don't make lame jokes. Instead of explaining where you are going, just say, I hope I'm not too late. Fight smart. Fighting evil isn't just about having the strength to land a knockout punch. It's about having the brains to win without breaking a sweat. Why patrol over town looking for bad guys when you can hack into every CCTV camera in Gotham City and search the streets with your feet up? In your own daily life, a little thought will always give you the edge. Like an Egyptian tomb now, testament to the greatness is represents. Your base is your basis for success. They say home is where the heart is. But in Batman's case, home is where the Batcopter is. And the helipad. And the virtual reality crime scene simulator. And everything else that he needs to succeed for your own HQ, you don't need anything too fancy. Just think practically. You'll need a space for your outfits, your secret files, your computer, and a hotline to your allies. And maybe a fridge. Sometimes I admit, I think of Bruce as a man in costume. Then, with some gadget from his utility belt, he reminds me how lucky I am to be able to call on him. Have the best gadgets. It's a fact, Batman's gadgets are better than anyone else's. More importantly, gadgets are cool. They impress the bad guys and make other heroes look cheap. They also save time and trouble. Why take the stairs when you can zoom up a bat rope? Why chase after a villain when you can hit them with a boomerang, battering? Make sure you have the right gear to get through any tricky situation. If detective work were easy, everyone would be doing it. Ask the right questions. If the Riddler is such a genius, why does he insist on wearing that silly hat? If Robin didn't borrow the Batmobile, where did those new dents come from? The life of a crime fighter is full of mysteries, but so is everyday life. Like, where did your other sock go? Who had the last chocolate cookie? Where did you leave the remote? Like Batman, learn to ask the really smart questions to get to the heart of the matter. 
He does not provide solace from pain. He cannot give you hope for the internal. Batman punches people in the face. Know your strengths. Every hero... Every hero has their strong points. Solving mysteries. Outwitting villains. Driving an awesome car. That's Batman stuff. Stopping aliens from invading Metropolis? That's more Superman style. Don't fight the wrong battles. You'll just look silly, grumpy squid. Leave it the Aquaman. Something need lassoing? Try Wonder Woman. Dangerous and alluring female cat burglar on the loose? Hey, that sounds like Batman again. So, play your strengths. Know your strengths. Every time a hero has their strong points, solving mysteries, outwitting villains, driving an awesome car, that's Batman stuff. Stopping aliens from invading Metropolis? That's more Superman style. Don't fight the wrong battles. You'll just look silly. Grumpy squid? Leave it to Aquaman. Something need lassoing? Try Wonder Woman. Dangerous and alluring female cat burglar on the loose? Hey, that sounds like Batman again. So, play to your strengths. Sometimes I think your secrets have secrets. Have a secret side. Being a legend means everyone wants a piece of you. But you'll go crazy if you don't get some privacy now and again. That's why Batman, Batman clings to his secret identity of billionaire Bruce Wayne. Now, you may not have another identity, but you can still keep some private space. Turn off your gadget. Sit on your own looking deep. Have a dark, secretive aspect. Like never telling anyone your middle name. Get connected. Everyone has heard of Batman and his one man war on crime. But for a loner, Batman sure has a lot of pals. What about Alfred Pennyworth, Robin, Nightwing, and Batgirl? Heroes need backup. Someone to help them if all their arch enemies turn up at once. And so do you. As you go through life, put together your own Justice League of family, pals, and pets. To see you through. I'm not whining. I live for adventure. I revel the excitement. Get a sidekick. Why does a hero as smart as and tough as Batman bother having a helper? Well, sidekicks like Robin are vital. They can watch your back, distract enemies, run errands, and best of all, they make you look good when you answer their questions. Just like Batman, you can benefit from having a loyal ally. Saving the world is more fun 
when you have someone to discuss the best parts with after. I don't want to sound egotistical, Robin, but I've come to the conclusion that Catwoman is in love with me. Keep friends close and enemies closer. Batman benefits from having many superhero friends, but sometimes villains can come in useful too. The penguin is a natural sneak and just loves to give away the Riddler's plans if he finds out about them. Catwoman started out as a villain but will always help Batman in crisis. Well, she has a crush on him. The lesson is, even if you have someone as an enemy, cut them a break sometimes and see what they have to say. It may just surprise you. Deep down, Clark's a good person. And deep down, I'm not. Befriend a superhero. Batman is used to being the star of the show. But there is someone he is happy to share the headlines with. Superman. He may not have a cool mask, but the Man of Steel is bulletproof. Can fly to the moon and back if necessary. And can even turn back time. Which might come in useful if the Batmobile is parked on a meter. You too could benefit having pals like this. Sometimes even the toughest, smartest, or coolest people around need a friend. So don't be afraid to team up. I will say one thing for your nighttime activities. You do tend to antagonize the most interesting people. Work with people you can trust. Having high-flying heroes as pals is great, but when it comes to that person you depend on every day, make sure it's someone You can totally trust someone who will give you an honest opinion. No one wants to be told that they were a bit of a show off, but that kind of remark keeps your feet on the ground. A true friend, like a good butler, will stand by you, even if you spent a night in the sewers chasing after a killer croc. Having friends, partners, it all ends in betrayal and death. Don't get independent on others. Despite all the advice in this chapter, sometimes you have to be able to handle stuff alone. Some things like facing the dentist or taking an exam have to be confronted solo. Even if your best friend in the world might not be a good to have around when you are on a romantic date, Robin can be brainwashed and Superman can be affected by kryptonite. Train yourself to deal with some things on your own. Know your enemies. Batman realizes that to defeat his foes, he needs to know them inside out. Study them and their weaknesses emerge. For example, Clayface slows down when he is cold. And appealing to the Joker's good side is a waste of time. 
because he doesn't have one. Similarly, you can learn about your enemies. The problem you face in life to overcome them. Your problems don't matter. You don't matter. Only Gotham matters. Never appear weak to your foes. How many times has Batman been caught in a deadly trap and left to perish? Countless. And how many times has he begged to get to be let out? Zero. Supervillains do not respect weakness, and neither do life's many problems. Let on to your friends that you hate practical jokes, and you'll be wearing a kick-me sign in no time. So laugh at your troubles, it drives your enemies bonkers. It's over, Joker. Tell me where Pennyworth is and I'll only hurt you a lot. Speak your enemy's language. Try asking a supervillain nicely if they will stop being a menace to society. And they will laugh at you. No bad guy will ever burst into tears if you tell them you are disappointed in their actions. You will get better results with foul fines if you sound as tough as them. Strong words can mask a decent personality, though Batman may terrify his foes. But he would never stoop to their level. Action is what's called for talking for the birds. Actions speak louder than words. Tell someone you are going to foil them their plans. And they won't believe you. Blow up their base by hacking into their orbiting death ray. And they will be more impressed. Words can be hollow. But a battering sure isn't. If you plan to do something cool. Don't message all your friends to boast about it in advance. Just go ahead and do it. They'll be a lot more impressed by hearing that you've climbed Everest than by you telling them that you've bought climbing gear. Criminal mastermind, and you don't come together immediately. Keep your enemies in their place. If you call some persistent villain your greatest foe, they are sure to keep coming up with evil plans just to keep top position. But tell them you scarcely give them a second thought and you will make them feel small. Batman keeps criminals in place by defeating them and embarrassing them in the process. Like the Dark Knight, you can keep your enemies in their place with just a witty word here and there. Leave them alone, Joker. This is between you and me. Make it personal. Batman knows that while villains are targeting him, they are not tormenting innocent bystanders. 
That's why he makes it personal. Sometimes bad guys get so preoccupied with hating Batman that they forget to follow their plans properly. You can create an impact by making things personal, too. Your opponent may get so riled up that they make a critical mistake. Become a legend. One simple thing helps Batman to keep crime down in Gotham City. The fact that he is a legend. It makes foes think twice about tackling him. It scares punks and hired henchmen. No one knows where the truth ends and the legend begins. You can become a legend too by pushing yourself to achieve things that no one thinks you can do. I wear a mask and that mask isn't not to hide who I am, but to create what I am. You are the mission. To get where you want, don't just have a mission. Become the mission. Your goal is in life is not to just something you do on Wednesday afternoons. If it isn't raining, it's what you live and breathe 24-7. If Batman only fought crime on the nights when there was nothing good on TV, then the underworld would soon learn to work around him. Don't just have a dream. Become that dream. All men have limits. They learn what they are and learn not to exceed them. I ignore mine. Mind over matter. The dark knight is often driven to his limits, but has learned to go beyond. You can't tell Bane you won't fight him because... You have a bad back. You have to learn to keep going. Batman isn't superhuman, but he expands the idea of what a human can achieve. Maybe expand your idea of yourself. Next time you face an impossible challenge, just put on your Batman voice and say, I'm on it. Maybe that's what Batman is about, not winning, but failing and getting back up. Get back up. Anyone can feel it something. The heroic part is getting back up again. Sometimes it's hard to get back up. You feel a failure and you lack confidence, but when you're on your feet again, you're stronger. You're stronger because you learn from your mistakes. Every defeat is a chance to amaze the world at your resilience. Bounce back, pull your cowl on again, and say, I'm Batman. It won't do any good for me to allow my emotions to gain control. Not while there's a job ahead. Stay calm. True legends have quiet confidence. They stay cool in a crisis. Learn to control your feelings and calmly get on with the job. Batman doesn't anxiously bite his fingernails before a battle. He doesn't punch the air after beating the Joker. He takes it all in stride. It's the coolest way to be, and it's much better for your nerves. I'm not done yet. Not while Gotham City needs Batman. Not until the night's over. 
Be sure of your destiny. By now you should be ready for your mission. You don't have to be the world's greatest detective to follow the clues we've given you. You'll be the hero you want to be if you follow your destiny. Pull your cape put pull your cape on and don't look back. Remember the world needs heroes and you have all you need and to become one. Like Bruce Wayne, you may have no amazing super powers, but you have the desire to be more Batman, and that is enough.